Got a question about how I make my pins. My pins. Enamel pins. I like to make enamel pins. I got a lot of reasons I like them. I actually discovered recently or remembered recently that growing up, there's a lot of stuff I collected like comics, uh, comic cards, some toys, video games. But I also had some pins. I totally did. There's this place called Hard Rock Cafe. That's a restaurant that has a bunch of uh, music memorabilia in it. And they had like these little guitar pins that I actually got as a kid and had them forever and I loved them and they're just dope and you know they're these little metallic physical objects that are like you know you can't deny they're like metal <laughs> they're real they clink around and stuff oh shit you know they're like I don't know I love them um so yeah basically my current obsession of making pins is not like a new thing it's not exactly like jumping on a trend or something although enamel pins are you know really popular right now it's great but i remember that i actually have been super into them since i've been a kid and uh culturally pins are everywhere you know presidents of countries and stuff like that are rocking pins every day if you like something you might got a pin of it um as to how i make them I draw them myself, you know, a lot of them that are like these fan-inspired ones, and fan art culture is a whole other topic I can make a whole other video about, no problem. Um, but long story short, I think fan art culture is great, um, I think there's a lot of merit and value to it. Um, but anyways, some of these are just uh, screen captures, you know. This particular one... These are my Nasangelion. I like to, when I do fan stuff, I try to like to make a mashup of something. Take two things. You know, you know what a mashup is. Maybe you've heard of these things called mashups. <laughs> so the idea with these Nasangelion ones is half NASA, half Evangelion inspired. Uh, the two things fit very well. You know, they're both sci-fi. I mean, NASA's not, well, it's, it's not fiction, but it's science. Um, you know, it's space, it's crazy stuff. It's just a good mix of aesthetics. And as for the NASA patches, I've always loved the NASA patches. I have some of them over here in my reference on my desktop. That's where these come from. And actually, right to my left, next to my PlayStation Move and the Alien book, is my NASA shirt. I think I got this at Old Navy or something, and it's like freaking amazing. It's really good. These patches are phenomenal. Um, they're not actually patches, but this is like really good reference for these actual graphics. So I've had this next to me while designing these. So, you know, the rainbow, the rainbow, it's all about the rainbow, the stars and stuff like that. So it's all fun stuff. But yeah, I get in there and I draw it all myself. I design it painstakingly, putting everything into place. The actual file over here, see, every pin has a few different states. It's uh, on the card right here, and then the proof, which shows all the colors, colors and try and like the size and stuff like that. Millimeters, I like the. I don't like inches. I decided I don't like inches anymore in dealing and making pins because I can't be bothered to remember what eighths are, man. Freaking eighths. Get out of here with eighths. And then this is the actual art file, like, uh, with all the layers, text, uh, stars, the actual robo is right there, that layer. So you just turn it off and so yeah um, and this particular one damn hang on it wasn't super simple like I had to like mash up a couple different screenshots to get this pose just right um, and even after that you know I drew it myself and I did certain things to make sure when it goes to print because you have to like consider widths of lines and stuff because 
some of the fine details need to be screen printed for these tiny pins, like the actual, this actual nerve one that actually exists. <laughs> yeah, the black parts there are screen printed onto the pin. Most of it is actual metal, but the uh, black parts are like freaking screen printed, like ink on the pin. So same deal for this one too, and this one gets here. Um, and as for manufacturing, I get my pins done in China. Pretty crazy, right? I'm like worldwide and shit. Um, yeah, there's the unit two. Basically, I don't know, once I got started, um, I got a lot of emails from people offering to make pins. Free proof, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, let's give it a shot. What could it hurt for a free proof? You know, here's my V-Day, Valentine's Day design. Um, so I tried a couple of those out and they turned out to be good. You know, I've gotten like all these pins through, um, well, a few of them through, through different companies. But so far I've been going through company just standardgifts.com is what they are i believe they're good um and so, yeah chinese company there's no like language barrier or anything it's all good uh, it's good it's good good quality good service yeah let's keep looking at some of these yep so yeah that's all like redrawn from a screenshot from the show stuff like that you know screen print's gonna this one in particular, I had to be sure to be specific about screen printing around the eyes because I want those to be seamless on the pin. Uh, otherwise, there would be like a black line there, but those are going to be screen printed on the actual final pin. That's some little classy touches, in my opinion, that elevate the pins. Oh yeah, that little guy. Oh yeah. L sub zero. I'm excited about this one. I actually just got pictures of the final um, actual pin of this very recently. I might as well dig it up and show you. Let's do it. Yeah, here's pictures of these couple of my newest designs in physical form <clears throat> from the manufacturer. There you go. There's L sub zero right there. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Yep, I was specific about the glittery parts and stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah. And then we got, yep, BB. Reticles. Right, and these are the Sun G, Super Sun G, Prince V, Super Prince V, Dragon Ball inspired pins, obviously. Um, this, these are a funny story, too. This comes from, I got these ideas, you might think it's just like, ah, oh, it's just uh, Goku, but I took his face out or whatever, but this has roots in my comics, um, different comic, this is Fight Machine, but the, uh, the other thing has roots in Freeze, which is my breakdancing comic. You don't see many of those often, right? <laughs> but yeah, you know, like most of my stuff, it's like a fantastical breakdancing comic because uh, this right here is like my template of a powerful man you know like Michelangelo or Leonardo had like the movable man whatever you know the with the multiple arms going every which way this is you know my version of that my generation is basically Goku you know it's the the kind of every man powerful man figure <laughs> I guess um, and I always like that in Freeze, just this little shout out. It's got his hair up top. And yeah, I just really like the idea of this kind of faceless, powerful man um, with the hair, with Goku's hair. And that's really ultimately what I wanted to make up. Dang it. <laughs> I lost the file. There's too many f things. Fucking. Yeah, that's what made me want to do a Dragon Ball silhouette pin like this was inspired by my freeze comic so there you go it's not all about just trying to ape the stuff i like it's it comes from natural organic places that i really enjoy i mean some of them are just like like i just wanted to make a nimbus soldier pin uh inspired by final fantasy you know so like i was canada bike like 
that's just cool shit. <laughs> I can't claim them all as being, yeah. Anyways, yeah, if you're going to do Goku, you got to do Super Saiyan. If you're going to do him, you got to do Vegeta. And if you're going to do him, you got to do Super Saiyan. Indeed. Indeed. And these are just my takes, my fashionable takes. And what I wanted to do was the black and gold aesthetic to make it kind of classy. Make it like, dang, you could wear this shit to like the prom or something. Or like a wedding. Absolutely. Or like the funeral of your enemy. <laughs> if you're going to be Vegeta style, that's all I'm saying. Um... Yeah, so there you go. That's, like, why I make pins, kind of, in the nutshell. It's, like, to me, it's an extension of the visual art I'm trying to convey. Because comics... Comics are glorious, and that's a lot what comics is, too. It's singular visual moments that really strike ya. And pins are like that, but they exist forever. As, like, a physical metal thing is crazy i love it i love having all these metal things i feel like a pirate this is my booty <laughs> like and i've got piles of it back there you matey trust me <laughs> we got plenty of doubloons where we're going um yeah anyways there's new pins coming very soon like really dope new pins um shit Really some dope new pins, man. <laughs> yeah, this one, Nasangelian Unit 1. Unit 2 is already available. This one, Valentine's. I'm very excited about this one. And this is kind of... I'm trying to branch more into original <laughs> designs so I can't be accused about aping shit so much. I could go off about that shit. Like, there are pin companies out there, like my level, my creative status i guess you could say and they straight up take stuff i try to put spins on most of my stuff but anyways this here is me trying to branch more into like more original stuff but also inspired by cultural stuff but also trying to utilize the art of the pin to really make something kind of pretty here like you'll see like the pink and the black parts are going to be the ink and the gold parts are going to be shiny and like shining through and shit. If it all works out nice, it's going to be really pretty. Um, yeah, as for the technical details about how they're physically made and shit, I don't know. I just send them the hieroglyphs and they translate, they transmute the hieroglyphs into physical reality. And I love that. <laughs> all right, then that's going to wrap this one up for the vlog. I may not always necessarily update the or upload these daily and even this early or whatever. I'm just going to do it however I want. But, you know, daily would be cool even if it's just three minutes of me going, duh. Like, it, this is just me doing whatever the hell, saying whatever the hell, um, and showing creative stuff. That's what's up. And insights about creativity. On that note, too, if you have more questions about creative stuff, culture, creative culture, pop culture, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And maybe I'll talk about it. Heck, I might even be happy to talk about it. And, you know, subscribe, I guess. Like it, you know, if you liked it. Thank you. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.